Hello there, Mike here from Haven of Code, continuing our Logic Pro 9 season. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about MIDI, but before I do, there are a couple of useful links that you might want to check out that I would like to share with you. The first one is freesound.org. This is where you can go to get loads of free samples, which is always useful for people in our line of work, and they're completely royalty free, so you don't have to worry about any kind of backlash in that regard. The second link is acapellasview.co.uk and this is where you can go and get loads of free stems from songs so if you're looking to do a remix and you're looking for vocal tracks and things of that nature this is the place for you. It's all completely free and they have loads of cool stuff. Definitely go and check it out. Alright so for the first bit of our lesson today I'd like to talk to you about regions. Essentially what regions are is they denote a period of time in which something happens within the Logic Pro environment. And you can see if I head on over to the top right here, I've got these two, two tool selectors. And uh, this one on the left hand side is my primary tool, my left click tool. And you can see that if I click on that symbol, it brings up a menu of different tools that I can select. And my left click tool at the moment is in fact my mouse as it's constantly on my screen there as you can see my command click tool is a pencil tool for this example and this is activated when I press command so the tool appeared there as you can see and click so if I go up to this track here in between these two lines hold down command like so and click you will be able to draw a region and as I said this is useful for inputting our own information into logic and we can draw as many as we like so we have our regions in there now so we we have space in which logic can process notes and we can create our MIDI track but what I need to do first is head on down to this channel strip over here which the significance of which we also covered in yesterday's video and if I above this stereo out selector here if I go into this box we've got a load of software instruments that we can choose from and for this one for this example I'm going to select EVP 88 which is an electric piano and what this has done is it's loaded an electric piano onto my software instrument so we now have space for notes to go into Logic with the regions and we have sound loaded onto our track and uh, if I hold down a couple of keys here you'll hear that the instrument is activated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head up to this toolbar which I neglected to talk about yesterday somehow. Uh, yeah, this has a lot of useful commands in it, especially if you're not really into key commands. And I'm going to click region and then I'm going to click merge. Just regions is fine. And you can see that the, the uh, several regions that I drew a minute ago have now been merged into one. And if I click on this region here, it brings up an editor which we did talk about yesterday called the Piano Roll Editor. And uh, if I use the transport control here, this first button on the left will skip us back to the beginning of our track. And you can hear we've still got the sound loaded. So I'm going to hop down here. And we can either hold the command click tool, as I did a minute ago, and draw our own regions in. Mm -hmm. 
like so. Bit of a weird and wacky thing. And if we hit, if I hit the space bar here to play the what I just recorded. Plays back flawlessly. The second way which we can work with this, and I'm going to delete this region here. And uh, I have to say this is my preferred way of doing things. Is Again, if we use this transport control to skip back, I can just hit record. Right, and just play and record for as long as I need to. And as I said, that's my preferred way to do it. Some some guys like the the program way, um, but I just find it quite electronic -y and a bit unmusician-y, so I like to play my own notes in. Uh, if we head down to the piano roll again, you'll see that everything that I just played has been denoted down here. And because it's MIDI, we can move it around and manipulate it how we like. So if I again use this tool here uh, on the transport bar that says go back to the beginning and skip back and we can hit the space bar and play again. Right, so you can see that I've got a note here, this one, that doesn't need to be there. So all I do is just click it, that, that highlights it, press the backspace key, and it's gone. And now I have just a conventional two note thing. All right, so that, in a nutshell, is how we would input our own MIDI into Logic Pro. And the last thing I would like to talk about today is if we head over to the Media tab in the top right. And then we go over to our library. Over here, there's a load of different sounds we can actually load up for this particular instrument. And uh, the library will change if you have a, a software instrument loaded up over here in your channel strip. The library will change according to what you actually have loaded up. So you can see that I have a load of different electric pianos here. So if I just click one for argument's sake and then hit play. Scroll through, and we can audition the different sounds, which is pretty versatile. And you can see it will change again if I compl if I completely change the game here. Go back over here to our channel strip, and go to our instrument selector, as I did before, and we I'm going to change it to an. ES1, which is a synthesizer, and you can you'll hear the same notes play back. But it's completely different. And uh, you'll see that the library on the right has changed once more. So now we have different folders, several different folders, and we can scroll through them and get the exact simp sound that we like. Another cool thing is we can start from scratch and audition loads of different instruments. If I go up to the plus button above the track header here, create a new software instrument, hit create, then we have a blank canvas and you can see that the library on the right as I had it open, if I didn't, I could have just gone to Media again, opened up the library, so if it was over there, I could just click. And we can go and design our instrument based on sounds rather than the plugins over here in the channel strip. So I can go and I can scroll through and say I want, I say I want a drum kit. Then I can click and the library says, hey, what kind of drum kit do you want? So you, you would go through again say I want an acoustic drum kit and it comes up with a selection of different acoustic drum kits that I can choose from. 
So I'm going to try the Indie kit, and you can see it's loading it up now. So it's loaded up the exact plugin without me having to worry about what plugin I needed to load up on here. This is probably easier for beginners because you can go through and, as I said before, actually do your work based on sounds rather than what plugins you need to need to use. Um, so it might be easier if you're just starting out, and you can hear that. And I'll have a drum kit loaded up. Similarly, I could go back here using this scroll bar at the bottom, I could go right back to the beginning. So I don't want a drum kit. I just to do to do that I just scrolled to the far left. And say I want something really odd. I want you know a texture. Let's try some sound effects. So what I did is I went to texture, sound effects, clicked on that and then I'm going to click vocal shouts and it will load up a different instrument so it's as easy as that and I think that is a lot easier if you are a beginner than having to go into this window over here and denote what plugin you need so I think that about covers us. Uh, one final thing is I've used an Oxygen 25 today to demonstrate MIDI in this tutorial. An Oxygen 25 is a low budget MIDI controller. Uh, really, really useful if you're looking to get into this sort of stuff. You can pick one up for £75 sterling on Amazon. Uh, and that's around $120 US. I'll leave a link in the description. Definitely something you want to go and invest in if you're looking to get into this. Thanks for watching, if anything was at all unclear please leave a comment or respond to as many as I can. Please subscribe to us if you haven't done so already and if you're feeling extra generous please hit that like button, that will help us out a lot. Till next time, this has been Mike from Haven of Code, I'll see you very very soon. Logic, do you love me? Yeah.